Does it randomize each time you select them? Oh. I want to get a feel for the character created by rapidly switching back and forth and having it re-randomize, but that's not going to happen. You can change the background. That's a cool feature. It changes the lighting on the fly so you can get an idea of what your character looked like at different times. Mass Effect 1 needs this feature because you make your character and then you're like, oh cool, now that I've made this character in the lighting system that will never be replicated for the rest of the game, let's see him look like a completely different person. Hooray! There's presets. Well, using a preset would be disappointing. But it's a starting point, I suppose. Noctis? Noctis. You want to be an old man? It's there. It's in the options. Let's start with this guy, I think. And then work from there. No, not cancel. Oh, click on confirm down here. There we go. I'm going to take my sweet time customizing this character so that we can then probably cover him with armor and never see what he looks like ever again. Usually how these goes these go right. Definitely gonna make a more a nicer looking character probably than you generally got from those uh from <laughs> every Dark Souls game where you get a nightmare monster. Skin's fine, I think. So we got the hair swept back. You can have hair on top, longer hair also in the face. They give you options. Straight up bald. Okay, now we're now we're making a Dynasty Warriors character. Yeah, that's where we are. Pompadour looking thing. Yep, they have all of the anime hairs in here. Equal parts Capcom and Square Enix. Less ridiculous ponytail. Do both genders have the same hairstyle options, I wonder? That'd be interesting. If they just straight up just give you access to all of them. I like that one, actually. That's not terrible. What if we went with you and found like a red color? I'm thinking more of like a saturated red color, though. That's some fun. Except I have to recreate the beard color, apparently. Unless I just want to have him have a gray beard. I'm workshopping it. This all might- I might completely start over. I'm just kind of going through the features blind here. Just, <laughs> just to have the eyebrows completely not match the actual physical brow of his- of his potty. Oh, brow type is a separate thing. Oh, you customize the brow here. So his actual bone area. You can change its general appearance from this menu, then recustomize the other part separately. Oh man. This is a lot of detail that will probably I don't know, maybe this maybe this game has a bunch of cutscenes or something. Because unless it has a ton of cutscenes, we're never gonna see these up close. It's gonna be a bit of a wasted effort. Let's change the actual eyebrows, because they do not work for that. These are just tired eyes. This guy is so full of your shit. So done with your shit. sure why I'm fixating on like orange right now but it seems to be where I'm going whoa ah, ah the most jarring part about character creation every time is when you start massively changing the eyes between a bunch of different bizarre eyes on the fly oh my god especially when you go from a small eyes to big eyes you're like what have I done I'm so sorry even though the eyes might look fine on their own those are all right what's When's the last time I went for Redhead for some reason? Was it, uh... I want to say it was... Metal Gear Solid 5, I guess. 
Uh, you can change the colors independently if you want to be like my character's extra original. You can tell because he's got heterochromia. That's how you meet. That's how you make original characters. I should really just pick, be picking the change both option. So this is significantly faster. Ah, how did I get there? I thought I said, I thought I said change both. Oops. Here I am talking about obnoxious char uh, heterochromy characters that I'm making someone with purple eyes, apparently. One of the weirdest things about customizing a character is just thinking about them trying to think about a face in terms of a bunch of individual elements as opposed to a face as a whole, which is like a, something that never happens in normal life, usually. You're not used to thinking about them in those terms at all. It becomes super weird the moment you have to think about it that way. Sometimes I just like to hit random over and over again and then just go until I find one that I kind of like or fix one slightly. Like. Here's our shopping mall of mouths. Pick your favorites. This is the nice one. Oh, this is the new model we got on last week. Don't, aren't you a big fan? And the facial hair options. Let's get that. First of all, let's get the color fixed. Go all in. All orange all day. <laughs> Sideburns. Little beard. Oh, there's four pages. Let's go back to the first one then. So, clean shaven. Little mustache, like tiny, faint mustaches. The thicker stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is the full beard we started with. I can kind of see why they start with that. They can just go all in here. I feel like his beard's a little too bright for some reason. There we go. Turn it down a little bit and it kind of fits a little better. Yeah, his, light, his eyes are kind of alive all of a sudden. He, he felt dead eye earlier. It's kind of, it's kind of working now. Little, it's funny how they, they make him move around and give him little expressions and then suddenly you're like, Oh yeah, it is a person. Whereas if he stood there motionless it'd be like just the creepiest weird mannequin monster oh is that what he default the over the nose the over the nose claw marks oh there is a lot of options here so you can go clean shaven not clean well detail free i mean what is that just what am i looking at is it just like his eyes are a different color in general oh yeah it just makes his eyes like a different shade I could darken them if I wanted to, if I wanted to have, like, face makeup. Oh yeah, there's like, yep, there's eye makeup and there's lips. Face blush, freckles, eye scar. <laughs> the X scar. The hyper anime, I, Sonic original character do not steal, freaking X scar. And then you have actual face markings. something natural about it when it's just like a weird skin print as opposed to like hyper color oh just full face makeup huh skull makeup somehow that kind of clashes with the beard idea i don't know where i got the idea can i make this work i'm curious Can I make it look not completely insane, I wonder? I'm guessing not. First of all, it looks like a graphical glitch, so you gotta, like, make it less transparent. 
You want to make it look vis like in any way distinct as being face makeup. See at a better distance. You can, you can kind of make the dark work. A little face stripage going on. Or just go full purple. <laughs> or green. It's actually an appeal to green to go with the purple. You go with the purple, uh, purple eyes, green face markings, orange face, and you have all three secondary colors on your character's face, which goes full absurd, but almost works. The br Let's go with the darkest one. I actually might go with this. It looks like that. Glossy should be min minimum. Uh, yeah, I don't think we want glossy or transparent. But brightness down. There we go. Make the color make a little more sense. You haven't picked it up on it yet. When I make, whenever I make a character, I do not have a plan. In most games, really, something just kind of happens at everyone. Could do freckles. That one's just a mole. Actually, might try another green marking here. It'd be minimum transparency again. Sure. Get some facial markings in there to make you feel like you're going to make it on the hunt. A little inspiration, perhaps. I have really just ended up on a random character at this point. Expression. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Preview. Smug expression. Do I, am I actually picking an expression that he will use? Wait, these are all expression two? Oh, it's like personality, isn't it? It's like these are the expressions he usually have, like shocks, grin. <laughs> these are very... Admittedly, these are different personalities here. Yeah, this guy likes to have his mouth open in particular. Seems to be the takeaway here. <laughs> that is an amazing face. <laughs> this is, oh, this is the smug guy. Smarmy McDouchebag face. Oh man, that is insufferable. This one's so genuine. Oof. <laughs> This guy's the cocksure sort of, nah. Confident, I guess? This one's kind of ge uh, generic. <laughs> this one's kind of just heavy on the emotions here. <laughs> I'm going with this guy, I don't know why. Sure. Clothing. Thought I was just going to be stuck with what we started with. Or is this a color choice? Oh, these are the only four c categories. So, one of two types, then you pick one of two colors. But then you can change the color? Go with lighter one? But you can change the color itself. You sure are a person. <laughs> oh, well, there's also voices. Of course there are. Whoa, I'm a different person. Wait, I just have different clothes on now. Than what well, I was just... You just throw those on me when I click on voice? Weird. That's a nice lighting system. No. Clearly older than that. That one had a range. Might go with that. There's apparently four pages. I'm 
I should double check expressions to see if there's more pages. I don't think there was. <laughs> there's so many. Some of these are definitely like 14 year olds. <laughs> Wait, what was that last one? I kind of like that one. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about judging these voices. Okay, that, that, that's Link. <laughs> it's like an emotional range, like a process. It's like a sequence of emotions that all fit together as if like they're telling a story. Let's go back to this one. Maybe that one, but there's other categories? Okay, the whole point is to preview the voice, and the voice isn't playing. What the heck? <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Was the previous one I was I liked. Here's the first page. I can go with eleven or five, I think. I can't go with this one. I'm also, I just don't want to think about it anymore. This feels weird. Default armor can be leather. Chain. Whoa, that changed fast. So leather, ch which has goggles. Of course it does. Chain mail. No armor. Origin. What is that? Oh, it's probably a callback to older monster hunter games, right? That seems like the kind of armor that some of the previous ones probably had. I probably go with leather. Seems to fit my character's design a bit. Especially since he already has a headband in his hair. So having goggles just adds to the existing ensemble a bit. Uh, expression. There was just one. Yeah, there's only one page. So I did not miss pages there. Okay. Here's a character, I guess. <laughs> it's what came out, apparently. <laughs> he seems chill. Enter your name. Was there a slot for that? Oh, I'm doing that now. Uh, sup? No, let's not name. Let's not give him my real name. Let's give. Let's make up a name. Brainstorm time. Orenko. Sure, let's go with that. Use some really old throwaway World of Warcraft name that I used on a alt that never even got leveled. So I'm always like, let's use that name again. Why not? Go for it. What? You make a cat? That's a thing that happens? Okay. Uh, well, that's hey, not a happy cat. <laughs> Most of these look identical except for their fur. Is that... Then slight change... Oh, you can do the ear types. The ear variations, you have, you have the generic t triangle ears. You have the curved outward ears. You got the little ball ears. Then you have like the, my, my ears aren't even up yet ears, which usually means they're just a kitten. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do with you? I was not prepared for making a cat. Nobody told me this was going to happen. Color presets. 
Let's start with the pattern first. Let's look at the actual options. Oh, hey, you get a full body representation of what the uh, pattern's going to look like. This is a trip. These are just inversions of each other, more or less, aren't they? I guess it's a bit smaller on that one on the face. Stripes change a bit. This one's just stripes all over the body. This one's splotchy bits. Oh, those are all the actual patterns, huh? Interesting. But these are the only patterns. I'm inclined towards stripes, I guess. Oh, this is weird. Okay, uh, change all. Just make it all a single color cat. Just all purple. <laughs> you can get full weird here and just make them whatever color pattern you want, really. I need to get straight what the actual slots are. So this one's white. That one's black. And this one's red. Just to confirm what they look like. So category one is most of the body. Category two is most of the stripes. No, category two is the... It's just the mouth. Let's see here. Where else to, oh, it shows up on his paws also. So mouth, paws, and a little bit of the tail are category two. Category three is all the stripes all over the body. Okay. Wonder if I should continue some of the themes I've got with color. Green's te technically an option. Okay, I need to get rid of this black because it looks awful. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. The green doesn't look much better in general. I, this is a disaster. <laughs> I need to like start over with this cat. Wait. Oh, so half his body is white. Even though none of the ones I picked were white. No patterns an option, just make them one color. What do these three colors mean then? Oh, when you click on no pattern, it only makes it no pattern then. But it uh it's keeping the selection you had, so you're still changing individual stripes. It's an oddly complicated way of, of customizing your character. Let's see. Could just go orange and white. It's not the worst idea. Orange with bits of green. Or even bits of purple. I actually do like the green. That's alright. <laughs> Just close those eyes out, right? I don't need to see, you don't need to be seeing anything on these monster hunts. It's pointless. Alright. Angry cat, serious cat, smelled something or heard a joke cat. <laughs> Too precious for this battlefield cat. <laughs> Generic ass cat. I do kind of like those ones. Change both eye colors. Just gonna shamelessly make it match my protagonist, apparently. Because that's just apparently who I am. Is I'm just that kind of dumb. The ear. Oh, there's even more ear categories than I thought. Make it go back. They just so those look oddly bizarre for some reason. Make them really pointy, or a little puff like a like teddy bear ears. Honestly, every variation looks weird to me besides just the generic one for that. Tail patterns. Ooh. You make the tail. There's a bob or a cropped, bushy tail for what? It's like a fox tail. Thin tail, springy tail. Springy is tempting. Yeah. I'd be more inclined for the fox tail if it was longer. It looks weirdly short for how thick it is. It kind of bothers me. Let's see. I never did fur because I was just trying to get a. The pattern was more important for their actual physical appearance. I was trying to get that straight first. 
But for length is a thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can make the whole character have shorter hair. Or longer. They look a lot cleaner when they're short. For thickness. Thick? Whoa, that looks bizarre to watch move in real time. Or thick or thin. Let's do short, thin hair. Little ninja cat. Oh, that's reach. Okay. So the patterns are all the individual spots all over the place, but the, this is where you do the base coat. Affecting which part's white or not. So I can go a little darker, for example. For a bunch of his body, then just have the, the white spot on his eye. Oh, that looks bizarre, because the fur gets so weirdly bright. The... The fur texture is lighter than the color you're selecting there, so it has a weird reverse effect that looks odd. I could totally just make him a green cat with an eye spot with a white spot on his eye. Or I can stick with white. I got attached to white, apparently, while I was sitting there having it there as a default. So I might just stick with that. Clothing. Oh, we're not picking clothing as a like a type of clothing, we're just picking a color. From the list. Make them match the uniform, I guess. That because my, my character's got that. Okay. You massively changed in appearance instantaneously, didn't you? They're not gonna make you guys speak, huh? You're gonna be You're gonna be magic you're just gonna be cats. I wasn't sure if they'd have if they'd be talking to me or not. That one sounds too much like it's a baby, like a human baby. <laughs> Are these the same voices but pitch changed? They almost sound like they're the same recording or something. Oh, pitch average. You actually can pitch change it. That's an option. <laughs> okay. Wait, I gotta see action samples. Can I see this thing attack? Oh my god, it has a, it has a shovel. Look at it go. What? The weird audio to play for that pose. It does attack. They just decided to make bipedal cats, but the cat is still... Just shaped like a normal cat, but it's bipedal. And that's they didn't change anything about its shape. I think it has hands. I think that's the main change. It looks like it has hands. I'm not entirely sure. Default armor. Leather or no armor. Look at that armor. Look at it go. Really undoes the whole ear choice, doesn't when you when you give it the armor. I mean I don't want to make it run around with no armor, it just seems mean. It also matches what my character's wearing, I suppose. So sure. Look cool in different color schemes. I can take it. I kind of like that it has a different splotch on each eye. It's actually like... He's actually got a vaguely Harley Quinn going th thing going on with the color... Not the color scheme itself, but the, uh, the split down the center. Enter your Palico's name. Uh... Pal... Lick bro. I spelled that wrong. Palak bro. Funny joke. Kaiklu. It's the other name I had in mind for my character. Yeah, let's start the game with this that. That's a team. Look at them being a team. Sure. <laughs> They look confused to be here. 